Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Ken Burtzell here from KB Cars. Today, I'm at Spitzer Chevrolet in Amherst, Ohio to show you specifically what's new on the 2020 Silverado. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. If you have any questions, comment down below. Again, this video is just gonna cover what's different from 2019 to 2020. And so if you wanna know what all is on the Silverado, make sure you check out my channel for other videos on that but before you sign the dotted line on that 2019 there's five categories of things i think you need to know about what's changed on the 2020 stick around i'm going to cover it all for you all right first up we're going to talk about deletions what's going away from 2019 to 2020 and not sticking around at all the only thing that's changed color wise is the oakwood metallic has gone away no new colors no other colors going away just oakwood metallic they kind of cut production of that through uh, part way through 2019 so there's not a ton of them to show you i'll put a picture up here for you the other thing is the high country premium package has gone away it's the same thing really as the high country deluxe package uh, but what comes on that is a safety package too sunroof 22 inch five spoke dark silver painted aluminum wheels with chrome inserts and the all-weather floor liners so that package is going, is going away. The only difference between that and the deluxe package is a different 22 inch wheel. But you're still gonna have the deluxe package, just the premium package is going away, trying to simplify some things. The last thing that's getting deleted is the work truck appearance package. It's already been removed. And all that did was take you from the standard black front and back bumpers and the standard 17 inch steel wheels, moved you to 17 inch aluminum wheels and chrome bumpers for your front and back so that's that package has gone away but don't worry you can still get the chrome bumpers you can still get the aluminum wheels instead of the steel wheels they're just a free flow option they're not uh not part of that package anymore so you can get either or both and however you want to configure that just be aware of that when you're looking on the lot All right, now we're gonna talk about feature changes. Three things that you need to know here. First off, adaptive cruise control is now available on the Silverado 1500, which is huge. A lot of people have been wanting that. It does require safety package too, which is only available on the LTZ and High Country as an optional upgrade. Great safety feature, glad to see that on the Silverado. All right, so second feature change is gonna be vertical trailering mirrors on the 1500. I know this is a 2500, but Chevy doesn't even have it on the 2020 catalog. They don't have it on Chevrolet.com anywhere. It's just been put on the online order guide for GM dealers that says, hey, this is a new feature for 2020. So you're gonna see probably ones like this, they're gonna be manual folding and, and extending. And you're also gonna see ones like this that are a little bit more chrome accented, a little bit fancier, that'll have power extension and power folding. So keep an eye on those. I don't know when those are gonna be available, if they already are. Uh, we don't have any here. I don't see anything around my region, but they're out there. It's coming. GM says it. Keep an eye for it. The last change is if you have surround vision, it's now going to include two trailer camera uh, provisions. So you're going to be able to hook up one maybe to the back, maybe one inside the uh, trailer. It's really designed, the new Silverados have all been designed for trailering in mind. So it's kind of cool that they're going to include that with your surround vision. All right, package changes. There's a few things you need to know about package changes. And the first thing, some of you from down south are gonna have to help me out on this because it's the Texas edition. Still all the same stuff. It was previously only available on the LT. Now you can get it on the RST as well. But again, you guys gotta help me out. I'm in Ohio. It's only available in Texas and the surrounding states. So unless one of you wants to buy the truck and bring it up to me, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but I will show you what's available or what is in that package, just know it is now available on the RST as well as the LT. Second up is the technology package change. Now includes the bed view camera. So it's actually gonna have, if you have that package, it's gonna have another camera up here. So when you're looking on your uh, MyLink radio inside the cab, that's gonna have a separate view for your bed. Really helps if you're doing fifth wheel or gooseneck trailering or just wanna see what's in your bed. It really helps uh, with that, so that's one change on the technology package. All right, here's a surprising one. Work truck convenience package was is now available with the pickup bed delete. So I didn't even know that was an option, but 
Uh, if you get the regular cab with your normal bed, you can actually get it without the bed on there. So you can do some upfits for uh, different contractors and stuff like that. But now you can get it with a convenience package, which I guess before you were just getting a base work truck, but now you can get it with the work truck convenience package. So there you go. Congratulations. All right, third thing, and this is a huge category. This is new packages. So some of these, I'm just gonna flash up here for you what is in those. You have a work truck value package, uh, which is new for 2020, it includes the work truck trailering package and the work truck convenience package. Next up is the LT value package, which remember your LT is gonna be, this is an LT, this is an RST. LT has more chrome features, RST, as body color also gets your fog lamps, but the LT value package is gonna include remote start, trailering package, 18 inch wheels, and the all weather floor liners. Now this RST is pretty cool. So this one has the RST value package, which includes the trailering package as well, 20 inch wheels, these 20 inch wheels, and the all weather floor liners which again, kind of like the WeatherTechs. I'll bring it up here so you guys can see on the window sticker, there it is. RST value package, all weather floor liners, trailering package, which includes the trailer hitch, seven pin and four pin connectors, hitch guidance on your uh, backup camera and the 20 inch painted aluminum wheels. And that has a nice package value of 1605. All right, so I know you guys are going to be really excited about this. It's the new Midnight Edition that's coming out. Chevy has this on their website. You can go check it out there for some pictures uh, or in the catalog. They have some cool pictures of it, too. It is late availability, so we probably won't see it till late winter, maybe early springtime. It's only on the Custom and the LT Trail Boss, so you have to have the Trail Boss in order to get it. It's going to be black exterior, black badging, so black bow ties. Um, you're going to have uh, the dual outlet exhaust is going to be black tipped which is pretty cool. So instead of the chrome, you're gonna get black tips on there. Also on the custom, you're gonna get the custom convenience package, the infotainment package, the spray on bed liner and all weather floor liners. That seems to be a very popular thing is the all weather floor liners. If you go with the LT Trail Boss, you're gonna get HID LED headlamps, four inch round black assist steps, bed protection package, convenience package with bucket seats, convenience package two, the leather package, <gasps> and the integrated trailer brake controller. You do have optional 20 inch black wheels that you can get on either one of those if you do want to pay for that upgrade. Uh, but that is coming here again, probably another five or six months before we see it on the lot. So keep your eye out for that one. So I know we've talked about a lot of new packages. The last one is the new Rally Edition that's coming out. Uh, again, late availability. So probably see it around the same time as the Midnight Edition. Again, late spring or early spring, maybe late winter uh, before it actually hits the lots. But this one's pretty cool. Check out what's all in this. It's only available on the Custom or the RST, which is kind of an interesting trim level choice. Um, I'm assuming because they want to go with the body color bumpers. Uh, black badging or black rally stripes, black four inch round assist steps, and black exhaust tips. Uh, so uh, carrying over a lot of features from the Midnight Edition, pretty cool to see. If you go with the Custom, you're gonna get black bow ties on the grill and steering wheel, spray on bed liner, uh, 20 inch black wheels, the same ones from that are available on the Midnight Edition, you're gonna get it standard on the Rally Edition. If you go with the RST, you're also gonna get the bed protection package and 22 inch high gloss black wheels. Now keep this in mind too, because if you're like, oh, I gotta have some weird funky color, you only have a few choices, black, red hot, silver ice, or summit white. That's all you can get that rally edition in. But those are all your new additions coming out. Uh, keep an eye on them. Again, late, late availability. The earlier ones, um, the value packages, those are already available. So you can get those out there on the lots. All right, next up is going to be engine and transmission changes. First of all, let's take a look at this 2.7 liter four-cylinder turbo engine. So it's not new, but there's a little bit of change in availability here. So it's got the active fuel management, 310 horsepower, 348 pound-foot of torque with up to 6,800 pounds of towing capability. It's a strong, strong engine. But before, it was a standard engine and only available on the LT and RST 
but now you can get it on the work truck and custom trim level so it's cool to see that being a more available engine uh if you haven't if, if don't knock it until you've driven it so it's a strong strong engine and it's cool to see that with more availability the work truck and the custom will still come standard with the v6 the 4.3 liter v6 but have this optional upgrade to the 2.7 all right, the second engine change is on the 6.2 liter V8, the big workhorse engine uh, for the 1500s. It's still available, but now it's gonna be even more available. So we know this engine, it's strong. It's got dynamic fuel management, 420 horsepower, 460 pound foot of torque. This thing is a workhorse. It was previously only available as an upgrade on the LTZ in high country. Now you're gonna be able to get it on the Custom Trail Boss, the LT Trail Boss, and the RST. So it is, again, the new Silverado is really designed for towing capability. And if you need it, that engine is going to be the one to do it. And it is now available on more trim levels. So good to see. The last change is on the availability of the 10 speed transmission. This is a great new transmission that we've seen on the new 19 Silverado. And it was previously only available with that 6.2 liter that was on the LTZ or High Country. Um, now it is a standard transmission if you get the 5.3 liter engine on any four-wheel drive high country or LT trail boss Previously it had the eight-speed transmission a lot of people hated that thing a lot of banging around on it um, now it is uh, paired to the 10-speed uh, Transmission which is going to again be great for towing All right, you guys, so there you have it. That's what's new on the 2020 Silverado versus the old 2019 Silverado. If you are in the market looking for a truck and you have specific needs, I think those are important things uh, before you go signing on the line for that 19. If you guys are new to the channel, again, please subscribe. Hit that uh, subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you live in Northeast Ohio, I would love to help you find the right truck or SUV, car, whatever you need. I'd be glad to help you with that. Thanks again for stopping by the channel. You guys drive safe out there.